Hello, Taurus. Welcome to your weekly love reading. This will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Uh, keep in mind, energy can go vice versa, and this reading won't resonate with everyone, so take what fits, but leave the rest out. Ah, we have an, over, an energy here that's popped out, the Knight of Wands. This is about somebody that's possibly been very in and out of your life uh, during this cycle, or has been gone, I uh, just heard, for a very long time. Okay, someone's getting the energy to resurface here, wanting to. Almost this passionate, burning desire. I, I just heard uh, that can't be controlled. Let's see what's going on. We have Four of Fire with the Sun card. Ooh, celebrations here uh, coming in the future. So it looks like there's something happening in the ethers here. Almost like a surprise gift. Uh, things are about to come full circle. With the Sun card, with the Four of Fire, I love this. The Four of Wands is like a surprise uh, gift here. Things are about to really start looking up, okay? As we head towards the winter season. We have calling in your soulmate reconciliation. Somebody's definitely trying to pull your energy in here, wanting reconciliation. But with calling in your soulmate, it's almost like this person is using affirmations or thinking about you a lot, uh, kind of pulling this in a faster uh, progression. Overall energy with Knight of Swords. This is very fast paced here. This is spontaneity, uh, getting to the point. Someone getting their point across as well. But wanting to do something without thinking about it. So let's see what's going on in your energy here, Taurus, for this week. Let's see. Chariot, Nine of Wands, Seven of Wands. Wow. So it looks like for a lot of you, you've dealt with things. Okay. Um, I'm seeing a, a general, a big... Thing. And this person is included in this because I'm seeing you've had it uh, a really rough time. Okay. I'm seeing as well with uh, people that you thought were loyal to you, that you really were loyal to, they took advantage or they went behind your back as well. And it feels like you've kind of lived this long road of being in this energy uh, for a long period of time. It just keeps feeling like that you've always felt like, wow, I can't trust another person. You know, it, it gets to the point where you don't understand why you love so hard and you want to be there for people and protect them and be loyal. But then you always end up getting screwed is what you feel like here. But with the chariots, I really, I love this because it's kind of like this week, something in the ethers here is really pushing things forward to you, to, for you to get a uh, karmic retribution. Okay. Everything that you've been through is about to kind of come back to you uh, tenfold in such a positive way that you will start to see blessings and abundance come from this. I love this. And in regards to your person, it's the same thing, right? You feel like, uh, especially if there's been no communication for a while, because it looks like you've kind of been to yourself uh, in this time period here for quite a while. Uh, but with this person, it's been it's been hard, right? Because they don't get their uh, point across to you. They don't communicate. They don't uh, speak their feelings. And you're kind of at a loss for words. Like, why am I still uh, sitting here kind of, you know, feeling their energy, okay? Because you're kind of trying to move forward. You're kind of done uh, with the situation, but you can't quite get them out of your head. You're trying to let go and uh, you want to let go, but it's you feel like they're pushing you here, calling in your soulmate. This is really, really getting to me because it's almost like this person uh, can't stop thinking about you. And so it keeps pushing that energy towards you here. Okay. It's almost like, why did this person uh, pop up in my head? Uh, we have 10 of cups, high priestess, ace of wands for your person's energy. This is a lot. This person is projecting their feelings into the ethers here. They may not have expressed it here as well to you in the high priestess. They've kept their feelings to themselves, but ace of wands, there's always this feeling of hope. Uh, for a future. This is also about fantasizing as well. 
a future with you, uh, that their, their heart truly does belong to you here in the Ten of Cups. Uh, let's see this Ace of Wands, Taurus. Hermit, Three of Cups, yeah. So they're in solitude as well. Uh, there's been probably no communication for a while here with the Hermit card, but wanting reconciliation, right? Wanting to come uh, come toward and actually just have a conversation face-to-face -face, uh, with you here. But what I'm really seeing is that this person, they can't stop kind of dreaming about you, right? A future with you, but they've not done anything about it. Tell me the High Priestess. Knight of Wands. There's our Knight of Wands that popped out. Yeah, wanting. It's like this passion that uh, is fueling them, right? This desire. And it seems like more time that's passing, it's getting stronger and stronger here. So let's see what's happened in the past. We have the Queen of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, and the Five of Wands. So I see that this person has left the connection here. Okay. Uh, it was hard for them to do that. Uh, but they didn't show you that, right? So I see that this is, this was really rough because you invested a lot into this person, Queen of Pentacles. You were kind of that person, uh, trying to be the glue that held the connection together. Uh, and this person wasn't appreciative, nor did they, uh, really show you that they valued, uh, what you brought to this connection. Uh, it was really difficult to emotionally, Eight of Cups, Five of Wands, is somebody that, you know, really tries hard not to express emotions. They tend to, uh, because the Eight of Cups likes to move forward here. Um, even it's an emotional transition. And with the Five of Wands, it's like not wanting to uh, grow emotionally or spiritually here. And it's like things are changing in the current moment. Uh, this person's receiving insight from the ethers, uh, also getting uh, some clarity on issues that uh, they have had to deal with for a long time, but they refuse to do so. Okay. So let's see what the challenge was here. Oh, I just heard uh, walking away from an argument. Yes, that would be... So this person may not like conflict as well, but this is also about walking away from conflict. An argument might have happened in the past as well for some of you, just for a select few, where um, it really kind of was the last straw to this connection. <clears throat> Six of Wands, King of Cups, and the Page of Wands as the challenge. So uh, in regards to this person expressing themselves emotionally to you, uh, they would always hold back because we have the king of cups and the challenges is someone that hasn't reached the emotional maturity level of the king of cups where they're okay being vulnerable the king of cups does not express it okay as much as you know someone may like but it's showed right uh the king of cups is understanding compassionate is able to work through conversations if uh, emotion is expressed to them and with it in the challenge, it's like this person um, needed to put in um, their emotions or speak about them here in order to get fights resolved or conflicts here. Six of Wands. We have someone that uh, has a problem with letting their ego down, okay? They don't like to feel like they are the ones that have to apologize, okay? So... This person, anytime that they possibly inside, and that this is a very secretive person, they don't like to, even though they know they're wrong, they don't like to apologize. They don't want to let you know that they're responsible here. Page of Wands, you know, they, they would put a little effort in uh, when they were in this connection. Uh, could be an age difference for some, but I'm just for a select few, but I'm picking up more with the Page of Wands in this energy is the lack of effort, right? They would always have one foot in this relationship and one foot out. So it seemed like their, their energy was more geared towards something else. Could be friends, could be family members. It felt like everything else was more interesting 
than what was going on in this connection, okay? So it made you feel very frustrated, like why? What What is wrong here? Why don't you just uh, want to just say something or just tell me the truth? To you, it seems very easy to be able to express this and it's not that hard. But for this person, they've gone through some things, especially with the King of Cups, uh, it's similar, very close to the death card. It's things that uh, from the past, uh, old baggage has been brought into this connection, uh, old triggers. And this person really kind of almost puts a guarded gate around their heart here. Tell the Six of Wands. Hanged Man, Four of Pentacles. Yeah, this person does not want to apologize for anything like they uh how they've gone through this whole situation is and this is just not with you this is in life in general they don't like to take responsibility because that means that puts them down low right uh apologizing or taking responsibility is kind of like no okay i you know they're very uncomfortable with being the person that was at fault for what happened or at fault for this uh it's just their maturity level emotionally and psychologically uh, has been stunted. And I see this from the past here. Um, they haven't progressed further. They kind of stuck in their own schema about emotions and uh, feelings here, as well as uh, their ego, right? Uh, and not really wanting to learn from anything, not wanting, they just have this ego to be who they are. And that's it. And if you lo I love it, then take it. If you don't, leave it, right? So let's see what action they're going to take here. We have the Eight of Pentacles, King of Wands, Ten of Wands, and the Eight of Swords. So during this week, this person still feels very trapped in their own uh, fears surrounding this um, because they're, they know in order to come forward to you or have a conversation at all, even though reconciliation is on their mind, they would have to be completely open and vulnerable. This is something this person does not like to do. Eight of Swords, Knight of Cups. This is someone trapped in their own baggage emotionally, okay? Wanting fully to open up and express uh, romance or love here, but feeling like they can't. They don't have the tools to do that. But in the Eight of Swords, they clearly do. They can. It is possible. Uh, but they feel like they can't. So uh, this is why the universe is kind of stepping in here with the hanged man. Kind of tying up the situation for the time being. To allow this person to grow and understand some things here. Before they fully come back to you here. Because there's a lot of unfinished business that is going to be resolved. It's just in due time. We have King of Wands and the Ten of Wands. So it's getting harder for them. This is restlessness, right, uh, with the King of Wands. Wanting what, they're, what their heart wants and what they're really feeling on fire for. They're really wanting to surprise you here as well with the Four of Fire. It's like something that's burning uh, inside of them that is really, uh, as days go by, it's getting worse and worse, right? It's getting harder for them to hold back, although the fear is greater. So when that balance uh, where the fear becomes less than their uh, desire to come forward is when that will happen. <clears throat> Four of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, again. This person wanting to put work in, wanting to fix things, just for the time being, they're holding back. So if this reading is resonating with you, Taurus, uh, we're going to find out in the extended exactly uh, what action they're going to take here. If they have the courage to come forward, we'll get some uh, timing in this as well as what they're going to say. Okay, see if they open up in a vulnerable way. But other than that, if this is your last stop, I thank you so much for joining me. I love you guys. I'll see you next time.